Hey guys, it's Nick from PC Hacker 11 here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a review of the free web browser called Wizo. Is it Wizo or Wizo? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but anyway, I'm going to be reviewing this free web browser today. So, this is the Wizo browser version 3. It is a really good browser. It's based off the platform as Mozilla Firefox, so it runs the same as Firefox and it's made as the same people as Firefox. Um, most of the add-ons that you can get for Firefox, you can actually get for this. And overall, it's just a really good browser. So, you can go ahead and download it from this website, wizo.com. I'll post the link to it in the description. It's nicknamed the Media Browser here, and you can download very version 3 right here. And so I downloaded it, I imported my settings from Firefox, and I liked it. So this is what happens when you first load up Wizo. You get the getting started with Wizo page, and then you get the Wizo home page. Now over here, this is the basic theme that comes with Wizo. It's actually a really good theme, and I like it. It has these cool little buttons up here. And then uh, I imported all my bookmarks from Firefox in here and they're also working pretty good and I love the tab interference also so here's the page getting started with Wizo which I can close out of now and then here is the home page that default comes with Wizo so as you can see it has its own cool home page over here it has tabs for web it has a tab over here for torrents so I'll get into torrents later and then you have all these other tabs normal and the search engine here is powered by ask.com now the reason that it has torrents there is that when you download Wizo, it not only downloads the Wizo browser, but it downloads like a couple tools that help you have download managers and it comes with its own free torrent client. So not only do you get the browser when you install this, you get the browser, you get an internet downloading utility, and you get a torrent client all in one browser called Wizo. So anyway, first of all, I'm just going to show you a cool feature that I found when working in Wizo. I, hold, I found out that if you right click and move your mouse around, it has this little these little uh, drawing actions here. So if we make a circle in it, it'll bring up the window here. Now this feature is actually done through a feature that comes in Wizo called Fire Gestures. You can set your Fire Gestures here, like a, let's say I go and open up a lot of tabs, like I have a bunch of YouTube tabs open up right now, and let's say I want to switch in between them. Like what I can do is if I right click and then scroll up, you, you can bring you right back to the Wizo start page, like I come here, scroll, and it'll tell me what page I'm on, what task I'm doing. Then if I right click and scroll down, you can actually have a little manager that'll actually let me change tabs. Like let's say I want to go from the Wizo start page to my YouTube page. I right, I right click and scroll down and then it brings me to the YouTube page. It's not really a necessary feature but it is a pretty cool feature so I'm just going to go ahead and close these tabs out. So that is the fire gestures. If you want to get to that fire gestures menu right here, what you do is you right click on the mouse and you make a circle right there and it'll bring up this fire gestures window. So you have all these tabs up here to control that, but I'm not going to spend too much time in the fire gestures. Another cool feature that comes in Wizo is up here in the little top it's called Colaris. It's a little media browser that actually came with it. So if we click on that, it'll launch up this right here, and you can actually go over here into the Discover tab and search for media under Calaris Start, Feature, Democracy, Comedy, and all these different things. And if you actually go down here and move it around, you can go ahead and pick something to watch. Like, you just double click on something, and you can automatically watch it here from the Calaris part of the browser. So it's a media browser, I guess. Oh, wait, don't want to zoom in on that. So I guess that's what they meant over here by the media browser by that Calaris tab. Now let me show you something else about the Calaris tab. If we go over to a page that has media on it, like let's say I'm on my YouTube page here, and I want to surf around for some media on the page, and I don't want to go down and search through all my videos here. I can just go up to this Calaris tab, launch that, and as you see here, since I'm on my YouTube page, it'll actually load up some of the most recent videos that I posted on my YouTube channel right here. I can click them, and I can watch them straight from the browser right here. So that is Calaris. If you have a page with any media on it, and this icon is colored like this, just click up there, and then you can browse through your media like that. So 
Anyway, that is the Wise of Start page, the Rocket Launch, and Calaris. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the add-ons that comes with it. So I'm going to go up to Tools and Add-ons. And as you see here, the Add-ons menu is basically like the like the Firefox add-ons menu. If I just go into Firefox quickly, I'm going to go and bring up their add-ons menu. So over here, this is the Wiseo add-ons menu and this is the Firefox add-ons menu. They're pretty much basically the same right here in the way they're built. That's because they're made by Mozilla, which likes to make everything like the same. So anyway, here in the Wiseo browser, it has some recommended add-ons here. As you see here, it has the stylish add-on, which means that you can uh, go ahead and use all the add-ons that can come with Firefox. So before I go and browse through all add-ons, I'm just going to show you some of the extensions that come with it. So let me go up to the top. So the first extension that comes with Wiseo is Calaris, as I showed you before. You click that little thing up there, and then it'll launch a big media browser. Here we have Control Tab, which is navigation for your tabs. Here we have Fire Download, which I sh which I told you guys about, which is the downloading client, the internet downloading client that comes with Wiseo. It actually makes your web. It actually speeds up your web. Your web downloads up to 10 times as fast as your multi source downloading. Down here it has Fire Gestures, which executes various commands with mouse gestures, which is what I told you the right clicking and making a circle around. You can assign different, ge you can assign different gestures to that, but for now I'm just going to use the gestures that it came with. Fire Torrent right here is a torrent client that comes with this. Now normally what you do to download torrents is you go to a torrent site, you download the torrent, and then you go and download a torrent client like uTorrent down here, and then you change the settings in that, and then you download the torrent with uTorrent. But here what you can do is you can use this little add-on for Wiseo called FireTorrent, and you can actually download torrents straight from the Wiseo browser without having to go out and download a torrent client. So I really like that. Here we have Fire Tray. It minimizes Firefox to the tray. And I think by Firefox they mean Wiseo. So if I go ahead and minimize it, it minimizes to the taskbar here. But it also has a little icon in the system tray down here for Wiseo. I double click that and it brings up Wiseo again. But it brings up two Wiseo windows. So I'm just going to close out one and stay in this one. So, And then here's Share Wiseo, which is an add on for sharing Wiseo with your friends. And then here's just stop, smart stop and reload. And over here in the themes tab, you can download different themes. But right now, I'm just on the normal Wiseo default theme. And you have your normal plugins here on normal. And if you want to go here and get add-ons, just go here, click browse all add-ons. And it'll bring you up to this page right here which is just the add-ons for Firefox page. So I'm pretty sure if you have any any add-ons that'll work in Firefox, I'm pretty sure most of them could work in Wiseo. So anyway, that's pretty good. So those are all the add-ons for Wiseo. And bookmarking's just the same. You go over here and bookmark this page and stuff. And so anyway, that's pretty much it. This is the Wiseo browser. It's a super fast web browser that has a built-in downloader, a built-in torrent client, and you can use mouse gestures to trigger commands. So anyway, this is the Wiseo browser. You can download it from this link right here, which I'll post in the description. So anyway, this has just been my quick review of the Wiseo browser. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been a video from PC Hacker 11, so thanks for watching again, and I'll see you later.